Hey everyone, welcome back to my Token Spotlight series. Today's spotlight is on the Bonk token. Bonk has been enjoying popularity over the past few days, having surged nearly 700% over the past month, and is currently trending highly on DEX tools. This is partly due to major exchanges such as Coinbase listing the Bonk token, which has triggered massive interest from investors. Such has been the interest that Bonk became the third largest meme coin listed on Coinbase. Bonk is a Solana-based token that was initially released as a meme coin to support the popularity of the Solana blockchain. It enjoys parallels with its Ethereum-based peers Doge and Shiba Inu, in the sense that it is a dog-based meme coin. However, despite being initially released as a meme coin, Bonk was swiftly adopted by Solana developers and included in their projects. This means that, unlike most meme coins, Bonk is used across multiple projects. There are also plans to include Bonk in the governance of a future Bonk DAO. As a meme coin, the Bonk token mostly derives its value from the projects it is included in and its user adoption. For instance, just like Ether, it is used as means of payment for NFTs and can be traded for value. It can also be used to earn staking rewards by providing liquidity within the Bonk Swap exchange. There are multiple pools that users can provide liquidity in. For instance, if someone provides liquidity in the Bonk Solana liquidity pool, they could earn an annual percentage yield of about 428%. The Bonk smart contract uses a proxy contract which can be cause for concern. Think of proxy contracts as switchboard operators. All user transactions are directed to the switchboard operator, aka the proxy contract. The proxy contract then determines which contract address the user transactions land into. Usually this is useful in case developers need to upgrade the token contract. They can just redirect users to the new token contract by changing the landing contract address within the proxy contract. However, in scam cases, malicious users can also direct users to malicious contracts, such as honeypot contracts. So while Bonk uses a proxy contract, this may well be to maintain the ability to upgrade their contracts to include functionality and security patches. However, the use of a proxy contract by Bonk is still something that investors should be aware of and keep an eye on. From what I can see, there is no evidence of liquidity pool tokens being burned. If you have watched my second video in the How to Spot Crypto Scam series, you will know why this is cause for concern. However, it is worth considering the wide distribution of the Bonk token. Since no single entity holds a large majority of the Bonk token, liquidity providers are widely spread. Even if one entity removes their share of the liquidity, the Bonk token will still be tradable due to the presence of multiple other liquidity providers. No single entity can remove all the circulating supply for Bonk. Bonk had a total initial supply of 100 trillion tokens. Nearly half of this supply was airdropped to active contributors of the Solana community. About 7 trillion tokens have been burned. As of December 2023, there are 93 trillion Bonk tokens available. Of these, only 60 trillion are available for trading on the market. With these 60 trillion, the market capitalization of Bonk is currently around $1.2 billion. To sum it up, the Bonk token is a meme coin similar to Doge and Shiba Inu tokens. Its main purpose is to support the popularity of the Solana blockchain by building a strong Bonk community. The Bonk token uses a proxy contract, which can be used for keeping the token contract up to date. This can also be exploited for malicious purposes by malicious players. The Bonk liquidity pool is widely distributed, which reduces the risk of rug pulls by single major liquidity providers. Finally, as a MIM token, Bonk derives utility from the projects it is used in. All of this has not stopped Bonk from becoming the top trending token in DEX tools. The intent of this analysis is not to get you to buy or sell this token, but merely present how the token works along with a critical assessment. Just reminder that this is also not financial advice and that you should do your own research before investing. So, there you have it. A quick analysis of today's trending token, Bonk. If you found this insightful, Drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more reviews on the latest trending tokens. Please also feel free to check out my other reviews of popular tokens in the Token Spotlight series. I'll see you in the next video.